I'm not a huge fan of uh, plugins for Premiere Pro, but uh, there is one that I bought about two years ago that I've used in probably every single project uh, since then. And it saved me, uh, it has saved me so much time uh, over the past few years. So, uh, so today I just want to show you what this plugin is, why I enjoy it so much, uh, why I think it's so valuable, and um, hopefully, uh, if you end up uh, getting this plugin, it will save you some time in the future as well. I used to be really against plugins when it came to Premiere Pro. I'm pretty sure it's because I used to have a colleague at the very first job I had in the video production business. And we were both editors and videographers for this little production company. And this colleague was a huge fan of plugins for both Premiere Pro uh, and After Effects. So he would get all these plugins installed on his computer and use them in pretty much every single project he was working on. And that's fine. But then there was always a time when like he was gone on sick leave or, you know, taking care of his kids or on vacation or uh, had too many projects going on at the same time. And then I would have to come in, take over one of his projects and finish it up or maybe change something that the client wanted done while he was working on something else. So I would open up the project on my computer and every single time a warning window would pop up with the longest list of missing effects or missing plugins and you know, all these things that he had installed on his computer with, you know, one single license that I did not have access to. <sighs> Just a big inconvenient mess uh, for everyone involved, really. Long, strange story about why I don't really enjoy plugins. Uh, anyways, this plugin, however, is uh, fantastic. I bought it, I think, two years ago, as I mentioned before. Uh, and I think I've used it in every single project uh, since then. The plugin is called Beat Edit, or maybe even Beat Edit 2 now, I think. And what this plugin does is that it automatically creates uh, markers on the beat of the song that you're using in your video. So it makes it super easy for you to, you know, cut your video to the beat, which you should always be doing, by the way, because it really elevates the quality of your video. So yeah, let's uh, jump into uh, Premiere Pro and have, let's look, just have a look at how this plugin actually works. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so we're in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Uh, I have a song down here in my project window. It's actually the song that's in the background of this video um, from Artlist. I'm just gonna right click on this and create a new sequence from clip. So we get a brand new sequence with this song in it. Now, if you have Beat Edit installed, what you're gonna do is just gonna jump up to Window, find Extensions, you'll see Beat Edit right in there. So you'll hit that, the window's gonna pop up. I usually place it in here somewhere. Ooh, an update is available. It's nice. Right, so I'm just going to make this a little bit larger so we can see everything. I usually make sure that the uh, audio track, the music that I want and markers on is selected in my timeline. I go up to the beat edit window, I hit load music. As you can see, it finds the music right there. It calculates all the potential markers. You can definitely go down here to like the advanced settings and add extra markers if you want to, but I, I would recommend, I'm not gonna do this now, I recommend you go to uh, the uh, website in the description and just watch their video on that because they do a very good job, uh, you know, going through all these settings. So after I've loaded this song, I usually go up here. At default, sequence marker is gonna be selected, which means the marker is gonna end up right up here on the timeline of this sequence. But what I want is I want the markers on the actual clip. So in case I want to move the song later, the markers follow the music and they don't stay on the timeline. So I go up here, I change from sequence to clip markers. And now all you have to do is hit this thing right here. And as you can see, it creates all these markers on the music that you've chosen. And it's as easy as that. 
Then just as an example, I can, you know, zoom in here. You'll see all the markers. I'm just going to go up here to some footage. I'm just going to choose a clip. So going to pull that right in here. And as you can see, if you have the uh, snap and timeline tool uh, selected, your clip is automatically going to snap to the marker of your choice. See? Now, before I bought Beat Edit a few years ago, I would actually create these markers um, manually. Because if you use M on your keyboard, you will create a marker on your timeline. Or if you have something selected in your timeline, uh, such as the audio file that you're using, you will create the marker on that uh, selected file in your timeline. So what I would usually do before I bought this plugin was I would, I would put the music I wanted to use into a timeline and I would uh, put some headphones on. Uh, I would uh, start playing the music in the timeline and I would just hit M on the beat for that entire song where I thought I might want to add some cuts later. Maybe even, you know, ramp it up. Where it suited the music and, and where I thought I might want to use you know, like a bunch of really fast cuts. Um, and that also worked fine, you know, it just takes longer. I also, you know, noticed that if Premiere Pro lags, the marker is not going to end up where you think. You might have actually hit uh, M right on the beat, but Premiere Pro didn't register it until, you know, a few frames too late. So having a reliable plugin like Beat Edit, where you can actually add markers automatically to the beat and actually choose the speed as well, it makes a huge difference. Nope. See, this is stuff that can happen when, you, when you're just pushing buttons on the keyboard. That's it for this video. Um, I'm gonna leave the link to wherever you can buy the Beat Edit 2 plugin for Premiere Pro and After Effects. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just, I really like this plugin and I think a lot of you would um, get a lot of use out of it as well. So. Um, check their site out. There's also some good tutorials on their website that go a little bit more in depth on how to use uh, this plugin to its fullest. It is a time saver to say the least. And with that, please take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. How many times have I said plug-in in this video?